everybody. Today we're doing a hike on the northeast side of Madeira. Mary isn't here today, but I'm not alone. I'm with my friend Dominic, also a photographer, and with Marcio, mountain guide from Madeira. Marcio is the only one who knows where we're going because today we're going off the beaten path and this is a place which is not visited too much by tourists in Madeira. So, where are we going? Yeah, today we're going for a really cool coastline hike called Ispigão Amarelo. It's a really beautiful place, amazing views over the ocean, over the cliffs. It's just a bit more of adventure in Madeira, like I call it. So, hardcore stuff, the best. So far, we went about two kilometers on a very popular trail, Verada do Larano, going from Porto da Cruz. And now we got to the point where we're changing the trail and we're going off the beaten path. So now we are going to what I called the real adventure. So <laughs> Ispigão Amarelo Ridge. What's the incline of the whole trail? The incline is about 350 meters elevation from Larano path to the top of that ridge on the top. So, so it's that's challenging, but it's not so bad. In terms of elevation, it's not so bad, but it's it's challenging, yeah? So, as you will see on the way, yeah? Let's All right, go. let's get going. Everything which you saw just now, it was on the way to the peak. We're not there yet. We are a bit more than a halfway uh, to get to the highest point up here, which is Pico da Coroa. Uh, still remaining a bit, which is probably the most challenging part because it's a very muddy and we, used to, we need to use our hands on the trees. But it's, uh, it's challenging, yes, but we are almost there. Let's find it and enjoy the views. Right now we got to the highest point of our hike. Pico do Croa. We are at almost 700 meters. We can't see too much from this top, but we will just go a little bit further and after 15 minutes, the forest will open and we can see some beautiful views. Okay, can't wait to take some photos now. After a 15 minutes walk, on a steep walk down, we got to the first lookout point. And we climb up to those first, that first hill, which, which is the eucalyptus trees, yeah. and then up to the first peak. That's where we, we were uh, hiking up, that tricky place. Yeah. And then this, the second peak, we are also in the top. And then we go down to that big mouth, we call it the mouth. Oh yeah. And then up again until we reach up the ridge here, the peak, which is Pico da Croa. Well, from here, it can get only better. So, let's keep going. Madeira has different kinds of travelers, and all of those travelers want to experience the island in their own unique way. All the official trails on Madeira are open to everybody. So I'm wondering why people should consider hiring a local guide. It's quite simple in my perspective. A professional guide would make you feel safe, will give you a lot of information, give you this impression of that you are having a full experience once you are doing uh, a hike with the guide. But most of the time, the official paths, they are in good conditions, so they have maintenance, they have, they have safety barriers, they have the information. So, and if you are quite good reading the maps or the applications that you have in the cell phone, so it's, it's, quite, it's quite nice for people the, to explore the, the island by themselves. Going off the beaten path, in my opinion, uh, at least one time should be a must. That is a completely different experience. So in my opinion, that's where you need for sure to, to get a guide. You can get lost or things get, get, can get difficult at some point. And that's some of the most cool adventures that you can have in the island. That's clear for me. So why not try to go with a local guy at least once during your visit to Madeira?
Alright, we're about to end today's hike. We just got to the point called Boca do Risco. It's a place where I've already been. Now we will get back to Verada do Arano, the popular trail, which will head back to Porto da Cruz. Well, I have still one more question for Marcia. So, what do you think? What are the top five hiking trails on Mardera, which you would recommend to any visitor who comes to the island? I would start by saying, of course, the PR1, so Arriero to Ruivo. PR1 is must when people come to, to the island. And th then I would also advise to go to uh, PR17, for example, which is Caminho do Pinaco and Filiadal. It's also a nice hike since you have a bit of everything. PR13, um, also the hike to Fanal, Old Forest of Madeira. Another hike that I would also recommend is the hike to Larano. It's a coastline, coastline hike. You have some of the most stunning views over the, the ocean and over the cliffs. For last but not for least, PR2 from Lombo do Urzal to Corral das Freiras. That would be my top five for people that want to know the island in a different way, in a different perspectives, and uh, to have some really cool adventures. Fantastic, thank you very much. So there are still some trails I have to check out from my list. If you will look forward to contact Marcio, you can find his details in the description of this video. Marcio, thanks so much for the hike. My pleasure. And we will see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>